Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. I'm Catherine. And I'm Sarah. And this week, we're packing up the tour bus and we're heading for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> My favorite city. I remember when they were building this, a lot of people were really surprised that it ended up in Cleveland. Well, yeah, I mean, it's Cleveland. <laughs> I mean, the search committee looked at other places like New York, Memphis, Detroit, but apparently Cleveland lobbied really hard. Mm-hmm. And there was a very influential Cleveland disc jockey named Alan Freed, and he was supposedly the person that coined the term rock and roll. Right. So in 1995, the seven-story museum to all things rock and roll opened in Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> That's right. Shout out to Cleveland. They picked a really great spot to place it right on the shore of Lake Erie in downtown Cleveland. And that famous architect, IMP, he designed it. In fact, it kind of has a similarity to the Louvre, you know. He likes windows. Yeah, and glass, so, you know. And basically, what this museum does is showcases the history of rock and roll from the early 1950s to the present. Special exhibits on current acts, early influences, big names, and the one-hit wonders. Well, you've got to give a shout-out to the one-hit wonders. Oh, of course. Bully bully, yeah. Yeah. So So we're going to look at a few of the many highlights. Like, for instance, when you walk into the atrium, you see the famous hanging East German cars from U2 Zoo Tour. Mm -hmm. And you get a glimpse of some of the Pink Floyd's The Wall exhibit. And those, of course, are two of my favorite bands, by the way. Yeah, I actually saw that Zoo Tour, the U2 one, and I remember those hanging cars were huge. And, of course, all the big names have their own exhibits there, like Jimi Hendrix and the Rolling Stones and the Beatles, which is one of my favorite bands. And the Beatles exhibit uh, showcases some of the those famous colorless suits that they wore, you know, when they were the mop tops. That's right. Their era. And then later on, when they got into that Sgt. Pepper, really colorful Nero jacket phase, they got some of those as well. And they also have Ringo Starr's bass drum head with the words Beatles on it and John Lennon's upright piano. Yeah, and the cool thing is along with those permanent exhibits, they have special exhibits. And currently the Grateful Dead, the Long Strange Trip exhibition Mm -hmm. is on display as part of the 2012 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction week. It includes original artwork from the band's album and poster covers, which of course are so recognizable. I mean, there's really nothing like the Grateful Dead covers. yeah. 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 And there's also lots of instruments from the Grateful Dead's tours and everything that they played through the years. So definitely want to check those out if you're a big deadhead. Are you a deadhead? I definitely would not say I'm a deadhead. <laughs> there's definitely a time in my life when I love to go to dead shows. And But when Jerry Garcia died, I don't know, it kind of changed everything. Mm. So. Yeah, it wasn't the same. It's not the same, no. Yeah. And there's also a really fun section, which is called Cities and Sounds, where they look at very specific uh, time periods like Detroit in the 60s with the Motown sound, Seattle in the early 90s, and they explore the music and the culture of that period. Yeah, that sounds really cool. You know, I have visited the the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and there were a couple of things that really stood out to me. And one of them was Elvis's purple Cadillac. I mean, it's huge, very Elvis-like vehicle there that, you know, you really want to see when you're there. And the other thing was a smaller thing, but I've never forgotten it. It was this letter Madonna had written when she was still in college back in Michigan, and she'd written it to a friend, and she was complaining, oh, it was so boring, it wasn't going anywhere, and, you know, she really wanted to get out there and become a star and... Well, she definitely did. Yeah, she always apparently knew that that was her destiny, you know. Well, the Hall of Fame also has its yearly induction ceremonies, and they typically select about five to seven performers or bands that have had a major impact on rock and roll or just music in general. Mm -hmm. And this year, 2012, of course, the inductees included Green Day, ZZ Top, Guns N' Roses, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and, of course, we say with a little bit of sadness, the Beastie Boys, whose founding member Adam Yauk, a.k.a. MCA, died last week as we're recording this. At the young age of 47, he died of cancer. So we definitely wanted to give a little shout out to MCA and the Beastie Boys. So rest in peace, MCA. And keep rapping in that big heaven. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. Keep rapping up there in the... uh, The big sky. The big sky, right. The other thing that I really love about the Hall of Fame is they really do give back to the community. And one thing that's so special is their education department. They really work with teachers both inside and outside the classroom to demonstrate how to integrate music Mm -hmm. to kids of all ages. And they offer a summer teacher institute, all different types of teacher workshops, and 
This is also something I think is really great. There's a rock and roll night school for adults, oh. and it's a free monthly series of classes for adults that are interested in learning just really anything about rock and roll. So, mm -hmm. you know, they really make an effort to give back to kids, adults, just anybody who's interested in learning about music and rock and roll in general. So that to me is just a really great component of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I, I, have, I see they have something coming up on Metallica. Who knew you could uh, get a class in that? <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going to get it anywhere, it's going to be at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'd love to check that out if I was there. Yeah. Yeah, well, we hope you've enjoyed our visit to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We're going to have a lot more information on our blog, Facebook, Twitter. So we have all those addresses at the end if you want to check us out. Yeah, and I have a poll for all of our listeners out there. Why don't you hit us up on our Facebook page and let us know who you think should be inducted in 2013. That's hit us up on Facebook or Twitter, and you can find the addresses to all those at the end of the podcast. And we'll see you next time on The Coolest Stuff on the Planet. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.